everything, everything done on the Herco is uh, at a different level. They're, they're incredibly fast. Uh, when we're doing ball work, modeling, any of that type of stuff, it seems like uh, the blends uh, from one tool to the other are, are just almost non-existent. And uh, so as far as the accuracy is the machine, I, I think even my most critical employees are kind of impressed by that. My name is Lynn Glover. I'm the CEO and company president of Glover Precision Inc. We're a prototype shop. We specialize in short runs, complicated parts, stuff that most people don't want to do. Production of some high-end things for commercial, but most of it is aerospace and defense. Well, we had looked at a number of different five axes. The main reason why we, we bought the Herco was that uh, the on-screen programming, uh, some of that stuff looked pretty good. I felt it was a little bit more of an American-based company than most. And so uh, uh, we've always been kind of a be American, buy American kind of company. And so uh, that was one of the main reasons why we probably looked at Herco. We have some, we have some parts, probably the most complicated parts we've done uh, we probably could not have done without having the Herco. Uh, engineers and uh, designers and people are now designing parts where they know people have the capability of putting an eighth inch radius down five inches. And because we can tilt the part and we can go in with a tapered end mill with a really small and we can uh, really small radius, we can go in and, and take these down incredibly deep and they look perfect because trying to do a five inch quarter inch end mill uh, just doesn't work. And by, by being able to rotate the part into a, an angle where you can go straight in at it with a ball end mill, just completely takes the problems out of it, takes the guesswork out of it. You're not squinting, you're not crossing your fingers when you, you go to run the machine, you, you can expect it to do what it's gonna do. It's been a, a challenge for me just because of the fifth, a fifth axis going five axis is you're programming the whole part all at once. And so that's sometimes, sometimes we're kind of older guys. And so we program things one thing at a time. And so doing something where you're doing all five at a time is a little bit more challenging. The good part about the control is that we're able to, to program it basically the same way we do our, our three axis machines and just uh, add the rotational axis. And the fact that the machine uh, remembers where its zero is on that rotational axis on the fourth and fifth axis just make it uh, easy to do. Yeah, I think there's a number of things. I like the interrupt cycle. Uh, whenever I've got one of the new guys, one of a, I got some a couple of high school kids we're trying to train, I just tell them if there's anything wrong, if you think there's anything questionable, that interrupt cycle comes in handy because they can just push that button with confidence and then get it going, going again without any problems. Uh, I think they like the fact that you're seeing a virtual reality version of the part being machined while it's being machined. I've gained confidence in that virtual reality part that if I don't see the part doing something crazy, it's probably not going to do something in the actual machine. This is one of the first parts we did on the Herco, and it's typical of a lot of the parts we do, but it's stainless steel, and it had just uh, num numerous operations because of the different angles. We're drilling some pretty long holes, uh, and uh, it was a little bit of a challenge uh, getting this thing done every time we did it. But once we got this thing programmed on the Herco, it all of a sudden, now it's just, it's nothing special at all. It actually is a part that just, uh, we're just able to run the part like uh, any other normal part. But in the past, it was always quite a bit of a challenge to get the location of some of these angled holes and some of their positions. Yeah, this part all of a sudden just becomes a part that we used to kind of dread getting these because the pickups on some of these angled holes were, it was always a challenge to inspect it correctly. And it's always a challenge to, to get the individual uh, operations set up on a, a three axis machine. We had tons of tooling for this. And now we just, we put the dovetail on this side and it machines the entire part. And then we wire the dovetail off. And uh, so that all of a sudden, this all of a sudden just becomes a very standard, normal part. That some parts just create anxiety when you have them coming in. And this is a part, even though we are a prototype shop with short runs, we produce probably eight or 10 of these a year. And so it's nice to be able to just go out to the machine, punch in the program and, and things work.